Like it or not, you helped me. Everyone needs a friend. And since you want humans wiped from the face of the earth... Right. So you cut a plant for me? I could kill you with this. Yeah, you could. I always knew you had a special place in your heart, uh, old Not Joe. you, asshole. Not bad for a first date, eh, Putin? Are, are you okay? Or whatever? Why did you save me? No one's ever given me a gift before. I mean, not to mention a plant, so that was nice. Babe, let's, let's just be honest. This isn't the first time that Joker's <laughs> left you here to rot. He does not love you. You have to leave him. And don't say you, you don't, don't know, know him like, like I, I do. do. Hey, so I've been meaning to talk to you about something. And listen, don't take this the wrong way. But as your BFF, and only F, I think you can do better than Kite Man. And what's the right way to take that? You know, now that you're branching out from only caring about things with branches, you, you gotta get out there and play the field. You're the new Poison Ivy. I mean, you don't have to commit to the first guy who's nice to you. Uh, your ex-boyfriend tried to kill you several times. It was an inside joke. Maybe you just don't know what it's like to be treated well by someone who truly loves you. Uh... Oh, now I've got smashing blue balls. The first time my father hit me, that's when I gave up on humans until I met you. You never told me, I've. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I guess it's hard to let go of your past self, huh? You don't have to. I actively tried not to put you in the situation. And then what happened? Well, then I, I up the situation. There it is. I didn't know what else to do other than call the smartest, coolest, hottest person I know. Well, that is true. <laughs> You cannot run from your problems, darling. Youth hate weighs you down. Only love sets us free. Ivy. No. It's okay. Don't. Don't do this. Have a good life. Get married, make babies, name them Harley. The girls and boys. Harley. See, it totally works. You know I love you. Bye, Ive. and explain the whole Game of Thrones Khaleesi thing, okay? All, all this has just been me avoiding something that I need to talk to you about, and if I don't do it now, it will be too late. Look, if you really need to say it, just... Harley! Cool parademons. Hey, did Ivy tell you what she just did? How she's the coolest, hottest fiance a regular guy with superpowers like me could ever ask for? Well, I mean, I wasn't just gonna sit there and watch your parents be assholes to the man that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna set you up for the best marriage ever by making your bachelorette party the best weekend of your life! <clears throat> Harley, you have obviously put a lot of planning into this trip, which just doesn't seem like you. Is everything okay, or? Of course it is! I'm the maid of honor to the hottest bride on Earth! Thanks for everything. I'm truly embarrassed for you. What? This whole sweaty maid of honor routine, too many thoughtful details. You two hooked up. What? No! Me? Her? No, never. Stop denying it. I know you made everyone pretend to get along at the restaurant, you know? But, like, now they actually are. You did that. You always go the extra mile for me. I'm your best friend. You are my best friend. Oh, sh cakes of a All right, listen to me. We shouldn't have done this. You're totally right. We can't do this. We can't. Wait, why can't we do this? Because you're my best friend, and I can't stand the idea of losing you, you know? I, I don't have to. We'd be closer than we've ever been before. Well, not closer than last night. I mean, that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Don't you want to feel this way all the time? Our whole lives could be going around the world saving nature, freeing all female armies, partying, getting free stuff. It would be so fun. 
I love you. Just think about it, okay? Just seeing you toss away your chance at Ivy has is, is got me thinking about my own love life. I mean, I don't want to biff it like you did. Hey, I told Ivy how I felt, and she didn't feel that way. End of story. Water under the bridge. Right, right. The screaming about it at the mere mention of her name certainly backs that up. Look at these hideous monsters. Oh, Bethany and I used to cuddle just like that. God, we could just sit on the couch and talk about nothing for hours. We just got each other. She always had my back. Good God, that's true love. Then you can't just give up. Love's a risk. It may not always go in your favor, but if it's true love, you have to fight for it. Ivy, you call me out on all my bull but you don't judge me for it. We have fun whether we're sitting on the couch or murdering a group of investment bakers. You showed me what the best version of myself could be and, and you held me to it. I'm in love with you. I wanna be with you. And, and yes, it might be messy. It might not work. It might even destroy our friendship forever. But love is a risk. I'd rather risk our friendship than pretend these feelings aren't real. You just, you don't give up on love. Take a risk. Take a leap of faith and be with me. Hey, did my kiss work? Where am I? <laughs> We're laughing. <laughs> well, are, we, are we friends again? What is so funny? <laughs> oh, man. I hate missing inside jokes. Uh, uh, don't worry. I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, this is going to affect the crew dynamic in a messy and complicated manner. I had a feeling the tension was palpable. <laughs> oh, she's still in bed.